Warning, this content is just a reenactment. This can't be taken seriously or else it may endanger some people. Yes, I think I want to upgrade my stock H3 halogens to something better. So, what is not a better place than maybe check eBay for some uh, intense brightness bulbs. So, H3 LED, I think that is the brightest you can get. And I know that Cree is a good American uh, LED manufacturer, so I have to check here on eBay. Oh shit! Two bulbs, H3, 60 watts. 60 watts. Uh, my stock ones are 55 watt in halogen. So a 60 watt LED bulb, that must be like four times the brightness or something like that. And it's so cheap. Hmm. Only six US dollar for two pieces. I, I have to buy those. Hello guys, I bought some LED bulbs from uh, China, uh, I got them uh, now two months uh, after I bought them from eBay. It's almost uh, summer now, so I don't really have the use for them until next winter, but yeah, yeah. But as you can see here, LED bulbs, set them as a gift and they say they are worth 0.1 dollars. I'm not sure if they are trying to lure me or if they are trying to lure the customs. But yeah, uh, this is some LED bulbs I got from eBay and the really cool thing about these bulbs guys is that they are much brighter and higher performance than uh, LED bulbs that are much more expensive. So I don't really know why you would buy the more expensive ones when you can get these 60 watt bulbs that's like 5 times the brightness of a halogen bulb and the lifetime will be longer, you will have a whiter light, and so on, so only positive things and no cons. So here they are, they were actually, as you can see, shipped here with some anti-static bags that tells you that it's really high quality. We will take out one of these bulbs here. And as you can see on the top here, of course, it's a genuine Cree LED. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be a real one, but uh, it said that it won't be a real one, so that must be where all of the light comes from. And then it also got some really high quality surface mounted LEDs. They are really mounted a little bit on the angle, but uh, yeah, it won't really affect the beam pattern any any anyway so because these are some high quality things so yeah so here you can see the expensive bulb that I really got scammed off this is 20 real watts and uh, it's supposed to have some real Philips uh, Seti S Lumileds bulb uh, diodes I mean and as you can see Maybe not on camera, but it's plenty bright. So now it's the high performance eBay version's turn. And this should be at least three times brighter. What? Is that all? And the beam pattern looks like an X or something. This can't be. I think there must be something with the bulb. I have to check with the other one. No, it's actually the same. Hmm. Oh, I have to go to the internet and YouTube and I have to tell everybody that LG technology have not come far enough and you still have to wait a few years for LED technology to go get there. So, as you saw, all of that was just fake. But some of my points was of course true. When buying from YouTube, you have to be really cautious in my mind. Uh, eBay sellers, they always uh, make false uh, claims like wattage, lumen, and yeah, overall output levels. And often it's a reason why 
these bulbs are cheaper than the more expensive ones and often the quality is bad and also the LED chips are often also fake. Everybody wants the cheapest stuff so to be able to give uh, the cheap stuff to the public uh, sellers will always try to find a way to cut costs. So with a bulb like this it actually got like five diodes and if you have ever seen a halogen bulb you can see it's just a really short strip of metal and that tells itself even if this were as bright as the halogen the beam pattern would be totally off because the light would not be at the same places in the reflector then it will be scattered all of the places that you don't want to light so uh, therefore if you are going to be that guy I would advise you just to put a 75 watt HID system in your low beam because you will have a lot more sight yourself even if you buy uh, cheap LED bulbs with high intensity they still are blinding because of the LED alignment and such like that so I advise you get a 75 watt HID system instead it's going to be much brighter and you will also blind everybody else on the road so uh, so in a matter of a few months uh, there's going to be a lot less cars on the road because they have uh, suffered from either their eyes have exploded or they have driven off the road and crashed so uh, and also just a general thing I'm not sure if you can see it on camera there but you can probably see some f small dots there but LED bulbs without any kind of heat sinking uh, they don't perform any good at all or they are not bright and the reason for that is LEDs they don't emit heat the same way it won't radiate the heat out uh, as a halogen bulb will be so uh, if you have put something in front of your lens on halogen bulb you will feel that it's really hot and if you do the same with LED it will be maybe a little bit it won't be as hot but you will maybe feel some warmth but all of that will be transferred from the LEDs and back into the construction. So to be able to make a high performance LED bulb you actually need some heat sinking. And the better the heat sinking the stronger the bulb you can actually make. And this one here got a fan inside it. It's not always optimal to have a fan inside here because the LED lifetime is rated much longer than the fan. But in this case it's a high quality fan so it's going to last a few thousand hours or it's at least spec that way so the bulb life will be longer with LED bulb than this uh, halogen anyway maybe ten, ten, 10 times longer even if it's using a fan and if it's not using a fan and if the cooling is bad the LEDs are going to run hotter than they are supposed to and then the life exp uh, then the lifetime of the LEDs also go down drastically and this one also got a driver on it and this maximizes, maximizes the performance of the bulb itself and also this bulb here is using really small Philips Luxion set ES bulbs which means it's uh, much simpler for the manufacturer to put the LED diodes where they're supposed to be and uh, it almost represents a coil in a way and therefore the light emits out in the reflector at the right, right at the right places and it will have a lot better beam pattern but it, this was just a short not short but uh, informative video with some pros and cons uh, there's one thing uh, these LEDs are f good in my opinion for it's like if you want to convert your like fog lights to LEDs to get a little bit more white light of them uh, pur purely then for aesthetical reasons I, I never use my uh, fog lights on my car so I would just put a white light in there so it just lights up and then it also then you won't have four points lighting out and other people who want to be blinded that have so much light on the car then they will almost just see this as another day running light or parking light in a way so yeah 
and also I know always making uh, these kinds of eBay videos there will always be people not uh, thinking the same way as I do but yeah this was my opinion at least and if you want to voice your own opinion maybe make your own video and show the performance and everything like that and tell me what you know because I always like to look at other people's videos and learn new stuff 